What's going on, everybody? Your boy man up here. Before I play her video, I got something I want to say here. Her story doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not saying it's not true. Let me get that out the way. And also, to all y'all ladies that, that say y'all been attacked by men, I'm not saying it's not true either. But there is no reason why you wait 20, 30, 40 years down the line to say something. Like that whole incident with Bill Cosby uh, a few years ago. He assaulted some ladies back in the 70s. And y'all wait till like 2019 or 2018 or whatever it was to say something? Because he was paying them off to not say anything. But when the money stopped coming in, now you want to say something. There is no reason whatsoever for you not to say something right then and there. I know somebody says did, say, did something to me. I'm saying something right now. I'm saying it right now. And that's what I'm teaching my daughter. Say something. Because if you wait, it, it, it could be to where they gonna they might not do anything to the person who did something to you. They're not going to pay for their crimes. There is no reason. And the story this lady's telling doesn't make any sense. I'm going to play it. I'm going to let it play entirely through. Then I'm going to come back. Good day, all. Um, you guys want to know the reason why all of these people are coming forward now telling their stories and they didn't do it in the past. Well, being a model for over 12 years and being in this industry, I was physically attacked by a very large rapper in the 90s who's actually now an actor right now today. Um, this man attacked me. I defended myself. 10 squad cars were called to the hotel because we tore that bitch up. Um, 10 squad cars were called. There wasn't one police report written about the incident. I had five officers come up to my room, take a statement. Not one police report was written. I worked for attorneys at that time in New York. And because my attorneys represented the head of the record label he was on, they told me to pick my battles. You want to know why? That's why. Okay, so y'all heard that story. Once again, before I start, it's not. I, it just don't sound right. I'm not saying it's not true. Because anything is possible. But it just don't sound right. First of all, 10 police cars would sometimes have two police cars per car. So I'm going to say somewhere around 20 police officers. Because sometimes it'd be, it'd be two cops in one car sometimes. So I'm going to say somewhere around 20 police officers. Show up to a hotel that you was being attacked in and nothing happened? And you say you tow up the uh, hotel. That's an offense you can get arrested for right there. Destruction of property. Private property. That property belongs to the hotel. Nobody got arrested. Hmm. Disturbing the peace. Nobody got arrested. Makes no sense. And since you work for an attorney's office, you have a leg up in... Getting justice for yourself. What a lot of ladies don't have. So. It, I, I'm, I'm not understanding. You're saying. All of these police cars showed up. So let's just go ahead and say. One cop per car. So 10 officers. Nobody did nothing. You should have took that. You should have filed your own police report later then. If nothing happened right then and there, file it later. It's just mighty funny. Mighty funny. Nothing happened? <clears throat> I can walk down the street right now butt naked. One police car see me. I'm a, I can get arrested and be taken to jail. One police officer could see me. So you mean to tell me you're in a hotel, he attacks you, 
You, according to your own words, y'all tore that place up and nothing happened? Yeah, I'm sorry. That that don't that that don't sound right. I can't use certain words that I want to use. So you mean to tell me you got I'm trying to choose my words wisely. But anyway, you mean to tell me you was attacked. Let me let me use that word instead. And I'm pretty sure, going by your own words, you tore that hotel up. Y'all tore that hotel up. So you got bruises on you. He probably do too. Probably. And nothing happened? And you're saying your job told you to pick your battles? And? Oh, well, dude, that should have been a battle you was ready to pick. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I would have fought that battle. I'm protecting myself. And if he caused harm to you, why would you let him stay on the streets and not pay for that, that crime? Think about it. Yeah, you're right. You should pick your battles. You're right. But that is a battle you should always pick. No, the reason why I've been trying to look it up. <clears throat> excuse me. If I can find it, I'm going to post it at the end of the video. If I can find it. But the reason why a lot of these ladies are not coming out. Because there was a law that got passed that said before this law really goes into effect, which is, I think, the middle of January, if I'm not mistaken. I forget exactly when the law is going to go into effect. But uh, there's several states that said that's now saying you have two years, two years to file a police report if something happened to you. After that two years, it's null and void. They ain't use the word null, null and void. They ain't use that phrase, but that's basically what they're saying. Because that makes no sense. Somebody harm you today, and you sit on that for 20 years, now all of a sudden you want to come out and say something when you could have said something all that time. There are, there are a few states that passed the law that that's why you got jamie fox you got uh uh diddy you got uh, all these guys i can't think of all the guys but you got all these guys now uh uh uh, uh, uh being accused of this stuff because there was a law passed in a few states not every state but a few of them that's why So don't even try to, oh, this because nobody helps us. No, please, get the fuck out of here. Because y'all women get any goddamn thing y'all want these days. So don't even fucking try it. That is a lie. Now, once again, I'm not saying her story is a lie. No, I'm saying what she said is a lie that they wait 20 years. That is a lie. You waiting because now there's a law that's finna get passed. So now a lot of... Cuba Gooding Jr. is one of them. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't think of all these guys. Uh, the singer, uh, what's his name, back in the 90s? Uh, I can't think of all these guys' names, but there was a bunch of guys now all of a sudden getting accused. Don't you find that strange that all of a sudden at least 20 men is not getting accused? Hmm. <laughs> So back to back to her right here. If I myself myself was to go into a grocery store or a gas station, whatever, a public place, let me put it like that, or even a hotel, I'm gonna use a hotel because that's what she said, and I just start destroying shit in that hotel. You mean to tell me I'm not gonna get arrested? I'm not going to get any charges brought against me. So that's a lie. That is a lie. Because you're destroying pro uh, pro private property that is not yours. If it's yours, you can destroy it all you want. But you're in a hotel. So you just, according to her, we tore that place up. That's what she said. 
That was the words that came out of her mouth. We tore that place up. <clears throat> and you mean to tell, excuse me, and you mean to tell me not one police report was filed? If not one police report was filed, that means more than likely nothing happened. And I don't give a damn if your job, your law firm you worked at or whatever told you to pick your battles. Yeah, you right, pick your battles. But this is a battle I would have picked. So that's on you if you don't do anything. That's on you. So you mean to tell me I, I'm going to let somebody cause harm to me and I don't say or do nothing? You crazy. You crazy. Man, y'all ladies got to got, got stop this nonsense. That ain't why somebody waits so long. No, you wait so damn long because you can be bought. That's why you wait so long. Because it's mighty funny. All these ladies are now saying something. But all these different men doing something to them. And once again, I'm going to end it on saying this. It's not saying that it ain't true. It's just funny that you wait so damn long. It makes no sense. Oh, now you got the courage to come out and say something when they're getting ready to pass that law. Like I said, I'm going to look that up and I'm going to put it at the end of this video. With that being said, this is your boy Man Up. I'm chunking a deuce. I'll holler at you. Yeah, y'all see that highlighted part? That's why. Yeah, now they only have one year to come out and say something.